My name is Crystal Sillins, and people know me as Canna Living with Crystal. I've been working and advocating in the cannabis industry for about almost five years now. I'm an educator, advocate, social media influencer, and content creator in the cannabis and beyond wellness space. Um, I met David and Shannon um, through Hair to Harvest by really just connecting with other like-minded individuals that were part of the cannabis industry in Pensacola. David gave me a call one day um, by finding me on Google and we connected and it really was a, a great start to a beautiful um, collaboration and friendship. My experience with cannabis wasn't always favorable. Um, growing up, I was an athlete and I went into the military and I was part of um, the 90s uh, time where D.A.R.E. was in full fledged to just say no to drugs and marijuana. So it was something that I was kind of against and being in the military wasn't a part of any um, part of my lifestyle. And then I went into government contracting um, and it wasn't until I was diagnosed with cancer um, and then continuing my path of healing and wellness after that, that I opened my mind up to um, the value and benefit of the cannabis plant entirely through hemp and marijuana. So when I started learning a little bit more about what cannabis could do for me, I realized that this isn't such a bad thing. It doesn't need to be such a taboo um, uh, plant. And I wanted to break the stigma. And when I started um, using cannabis, I found that um, I could start to get off of some of those synthetic prescription medications that um, was kind of hurting me more than helping me. When David gave me a call, uh, when he found me on Google, he just asked me um, what kind of things I did in the cannabis space, what I knew about CBD, what I did in the community. Um, and I was very excited to hear what he did when he told me he was doing hemp farming out here in Pensacola um, on the Gulf Coast. And I was so excited to meet him. And when he showed me his crops, um, I was blown away. I had never seen so many beautiful plants in one location on such a beautiful piece of land before. Um, so he showed me what he did, taught me about growing um, and what he does here at Hair to Harvest. And we just um, really blossomed into a great friendship where we continue to collaborate in business and in life all together to help each other reach more people, to do more advocacy work, to help them heal through cannabis. When I first came to Hair to Harvest, farm, I was just blown away. I could not believe all of the beautiful scenery I was seeing. Cannabis plants amongst plants amongst plants, hundreds of them. Um, it smelled beautiful aromas of terpenes. Um, I loved how clean everything looked and how careful David was with um, just his whole processing and his heart is really into quality control. And I, I was just really impressed when I came out here to see what he was doing. I have used Hera to Harvest products since the day I came to this farm. He gave me some samples of things to try and I gladly accepted. Um, I believe and use it, all forms of cannabis from the organic flower um, down to the salves and tinctures. Um, I started using the flower when I first um, connected with David and then as he's evolved and started making his own products into the salves and the tinctures. I couldn't wait to try those too. So I even used his salves on my tattoo for healing um, through that. And it, it really relieves a lot of those ouches and aches and discomforts that we have from day to day. And it is really um, relieving. I started advocating for cannabis um, really with CBD. CBD was the cannabinoid that opened up my mind to the power of the cannabis plant when I was thinking that smoking weed and using THC was so taboo and so bad for you based on all the things society had told me growing up. Um, I realized that CBD isn't bad in, in all forms and it's really not bad in THC form at all either when used responsibly and you know the right way. So CBD to me is everything. I think it's um, the, the start of the whole synergistic effect in reaching homeostasis in your body. With a, about a dozen major you know, systems in our body, CBD nourishes at least half of them, and that's been proven for many years. It's just really hard to find that information. And CBD mixed with CBG and these other non-psychoactive cannabinoids can really help somebody's synergistic effect to a homeostasis balance for their health. Um, so entering the CBD and CBG space for me gives a, a whole um, realm of, of health. I think they call it the mother of cannabinoids because it all starts with CBG and then it evolves from there and it goes to CBD, CBN, THC even. Um, CBG is also highly neuroprotective and I am someone that suffers from all kinds of nervous system damage from the chemotherapy that I had when I was going through my breast cancer 
um, diagnosis. And for me, having that neuroprotective agent that's also anti-inflammatory in my body that also helps relieve stress and oxidate that stress hormone in our in our brains is is paramount. So when they say the mother of cannabinoids, it's not just because it starts with CBG, it's because it really helps with some of the things that we need most. Hair to Harvest has helped me with my medical cannabis journey in various ways. I mean, even just coming out to the farm here, I just feel uplifted and my it just feeds my soul because it's so peaceful out here. But using the products, I've been using CBD for almost five years now, and I can say that this is one of the best CBDs that I've ever used in the form of flower, tincture, and a salve. Um, I, you can't find a really good quality CBD and CBG many places because they get shipped around from different producers and different farmers and different labs. Um, and sometimes it's really hard to find good quality control. So one of the things that I love most about Hair to Harvest too, the products make you feel so good, but I know exactly where they're coming from. They're organic and the quality control here is, is really at utmost importance. I think the Pierces are perfect for running a hemp farm because their hearts are really in it. They want to help people. They want help to help people feel better and maybe help them get off of some of these prescription medications that CBD can help with. Um, they wanna educate the community and even help people grow their own whenever the laws come around to get us to a point where we can do that in our homes. They are, are very um, focused on making sure people understand that quality is important and know what the differences are between indoor growing and outdoor growing, what the differences are between um, medicinal um, farming and industrial farming. Um, and I really just love that they're kind to everybody. When hemp farming was opened up to Floridians, um, there was a lot of people that jumped to the opportunity. And some people have stuck around and some people haven't. And what makes Hair to Harvest special is that they are one of the only hemp farms on the Gulf Coast that has been able to stick around, be successful, get quality products out to our community and beyond, and help people through you know, the ins and outs of the growing processes and knowing the differences between indoor growing and outdoor growing and medicinal growing and industrial growing. I love bringing people out to Hera to Harvest. It's like one of my favorite things because I know the feeling that I get whenever I come out here. So I just wanna show my friends and family. I've even brought my mom and dad out out here, I think it's really important to show people what's happening with the, the growing and, and the quality control and the people and the community and the culture. Um, it's really important to work with people in the community who are like-minded and who also want to get the word out there too. I think we're all in this together when it comes to advocating for a plant that is so taboo and has so much stigma involved with it. But when you show people how beautiful that it can really be on a place that is so peaceful, um, I think it's just magical. So I love bringing my friends and family out to see and experience all that's happening out there and meet the Pierces and their family. Um, and it really means a lot to me that they're willing to go against the grain and um, do things that are hard. And sometimes, you know, even with the quality checks and the third party testing, it's not always in their favor. And that sometimes feels like, man, we got to start over and we got to start regrowing. But they're very, very plugged into making sure they're doing it right and staying in compliance with the state and the legalities and, and making sure they're giving the um, community a good quality product. I'm really proud to see how Hair to Harvest has evolved in the last couple of years through meeting David and the family and seeing all of the things that have happened out here. Um, and I'm really excited to what is going to evolve into the next couple of years. So make sure you stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss it.